It's week eight here in the New Orleans Saints franchise. Welcome back, everybody. It is the trade deadline, and we have a matchup against the Indianapolis Colts. We'll get a look at quarterback Anthony Richardson and see if we can bounce back after a dominating loss against the Jaguars last week. 42 to 14. I wasn't sure we'd make any moves here at the deadline, but I found one that I felt makes sense. And I just don't feel like Jamal Williams has carved out a role on this team. I don't think he was all that great earlier in the season. And I try to do trades in my series that make sense for both sides and are not completely one-sided. And the Chargers have dealt with an injury this year to Austin Eckler. And they've struggled to find a good power back counterpart for him over the years. So we have sent Jamal Williams to the Chargers for a fifth round pick. And with that roster spot opened up, we're going to be taking Marlon Tui Pelotu off of the Eagles practice squad to give us some more D-line depth. That gives us an extra fifth round pick for the future. And we now have a deeper hole to climb out of financially because I think we had to eat some of that money. But we're $31 million in the hole for next year. It is unbelievable the cap situation this team finds them in. When you see the numbers and how they spike from 23 to 24. I have no idea how we're going to get under the cap next year without further restructures. It's a mess. I'm going to have to find a way. But I don't have to do it right now. But it's going to be one of the biggest challenges of this franchise. I'm just trying to enjoy this year while we have this team in place. I do like where things are overall with us at 4-3. and three. One change you may have noticed is that Tyron Matthew has not been playing much in the slot lately. We're getting Elante Taylor some more experience there, and I prefer that to get him acclimated. But there are still matchups. If we face like an elite slot receiver, for instance, I might still have Matthew play the slot in those specific games but we haven't been running into those. We're going to spend some of our coach talent points this week. You got to make a decision. Do you want to focus on developing offensive linemen here or tight end wide receiver? I'm actually going to go O-line. I think they need more of the boost when it comes to developing, whereas you can always find really good receiver prospects. And then for defense, I wanted to focus on the defensive tackles and outside linebackers. A couple weeks ago, we faced the reeling Texans who were dealing with bad morale and a poor start to the year. The Colts are in a very similar spot, also with their own rookie quarterback. Including today's game, we'll already have faced Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and Anthony Richardson, the first three quarterbacks selected in the most recent draft. We're hoping we can put last week behind us. We had opportunities to make plays. We missed them by inches at times. Got to find a way to bounce back here on the road. Welcome back, everybody. Saints football here once again. And Josh Downs is going to take this out of the end zone and gets across the 20 and then is spun down. And that'll bring out the dynamic rookie, Anthony Richardson. Number four overall pick in the draft. He's an excellent runner. One of the best combine performers of all time. Has a big arm. And the first play goes to Zach Moss, who's been their lead running back with the absence of Jonathan Taylor, who remains out for them. He is not on the active roster. I'd rather not face Jonathan Taylor. You can probably imagine why. It is a keeper, Richardson. He can do some damage, but not here with Marcus May on the stop. And it brings up third down. They give the receivers a clean release, and the pass is caught by Michael Pittman Jr. Top target for Anthony Richardson. It's a gain of 12. From the 44, got the numbers advantage on the screen. Isaiah McKenzie, first down. Good play call there for Indianapolis. They are on the move with their opening drive with motion. Moss the carry. The middle is paved open. And it's a solid run of seven. Quentin Nelson, the star left guard, helping clear some space. And now Richardson in the secondary. Lost the ball. And on it is the rookie Downs. And the Colts keep it, continuing an impressive drive as they enter the red zone. 
Moali Cox is in the slot, and Richardson across the middle, Josh Downs brings it down to the three, and it's goal to go, Colts. Pittman now on the inside as Moss runs his way for the touchdown. How about that start for the one-win Colts? Some energy on the opening drive and a great series for Anthony Richardson. Already trailing the Saints. Really disappointed last week and they turned the ball over three times in plus territory. They've got to clean a lot of things up. Play action, car outside and that's a catch. Chris Olave brought it to the ground. Olave still the NFL's leading receiver. Now Alvin Kamara to the edge with a stiff arm and a short gain. Now, without Jamal Williams, Kendra Miller becomes the new RB2, but this is still Kamara's backfield. Pass incomplete on the slant for Olave. Well played, EJ Speed. And now the Colts trying to get their defense off the field. Time to throw, caught by Olave. First down, covered by a linebacker who honestly didn't do a very bad job. To the outside, nowhere to go for Kamara. Chase down, DeForest Buckner was in the mix. Always someone I'm concerned with. Second and long, a shot up top. It is caught by Olave, taken off for the touchdown. 56 yards. You know, as the NFL's leading receiver, you'd think this would be happening a lot more often. It's the deep crossers and dig routes where he's gotten all his yardage this year, but now it's just straight vertical speed beating press coverage. And this is a secondary I think you can attack. They don't have great athletes at cornerback, and their strength defensively really relies on their front seven and mainly DeForest Buckner. But if you can protect, there should be chances downfield like we just saw there. Seven apiece. Richardson in trouble, and it is incomplete. Saying that was a pass looked like a fumble to me. Third and seven. Richardson back to the air. Pressured inside. He fires up top and nobody home. Three and out, Indianapolis. The punter is Rigoberto Sanchez. Kicking this one away to Rashid Shahid. From the 25, he eyes the far sideline, gets around the edge a bit, and it's a good run back, setting up the Colts' offense. Nine touchdown passes on the year now for Derek Carr after that one to Olave. Inside, a running lane behind James Hurst, and a first down into Colt territory. Two tight ends on the field for New Orleans, and a bootleg left. Wide open is Taysom Hill, getting first down yardage. He fumbled in this area last week. That was one of our big mistakes. Hand off to Kamara, trying the right side, and eventually chased down by Buckner. Don't expect us to attack him very much. We want to run away from him. On second down, open downfield, it's caught! Jawan Johnson! who missed much of last week's game with an injury, brings us inside the 10. Hill is in the game, leading the way. Kamara to the outside, turns it up to the three. Saints facing third and goal. Thomas and Perry to the right side. Blitz coming, Core sacked! Back at the nine. They brought the house. And Carr did not make up his mind quick enough when he had a touchdown there to Olave. Field goal makes it 10 to seven. The red zone play for us continues to not be where I want it. Zach Moss brought down by Demario Davis. Facing third down, they wanna set up the screen as Richardson floats it too far for Moss. And it's back to back three and outs following their impressive first series. From the 33, Saints drive number three, Buckner. Yep, that's why you just can't run up the middle like that. And alongside him is Grover Stewart, who's also a great run clogger. 
There's Kamara getting away from Johnson. He's got the first down. Another great one-on-one -on -one route and reception. Out to the 47. Pitch out Kamara with a blocker in front. Stopped around the 50. Have to get to the 43-yard line on third down. Carr feels pressure to the outside. Too far for A.T. Perry. Good defense there by Indy as they'll be set up to get the football back. Headley to boot this one away. It's going to be let go by Downs and it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Saints defense has done a really good job on the last two drives. Richardson to his right has a short gain to Mo Alley Cox and has started the day 5 of 8 passing. Needs the 30. Four-man rush. Pressured by Shepard. And can't get away. Bulls on the ground. Richardson gets on it. But it's another big play for the Saint defense. Cam Jordan got through to knock it out. A short field for New Orleans as they take over. A fake car to his right. Has nowhere to go. Already eight interceptions on the year, not trying to force number nine. Third down, car goes short, and it is caught by Thomas, and it's fourth down. Looks like the offense will be going for it here. They're at the Colts 39, car back to pass, has time, caught by Olave, first down. And the drive continues. Aggressiveness out of head coach Tim Cannon. Fake to Kendra Miller. Car bootlegs right again and gives it to Taysom Hill, who lowers the shoulder and takes it inside the 20. Third down. Just need a couple this time. They want to throw for it, and Carr gets hit by the unblocked defender. I don't know what Trevor Penning was doing, letting him come free off the edge, and they're going to go for it. Fourth and two. Not going for the field goal. Car middle, caught by Thomas. Two fourth down conversions. They didn't go for it the first time to kick on the second try. So the drive extended. Car steps up and he gets hammered by Grover Stewart. Third down. Thomas' slot left. Blitz coming. Car complete. It's Camara. Touchdown. The halfback angle route. Alvin Kamara catches a score as the Saints extend their lead. Better protection that time. And nice to see us capitalize in the red zone. We've been kicking way too much this year. 10-point lead, 17 points unanswered. And the Colts haven't done anything since their opening drive. Richardson under heavy pressure again. Gets it out to Moss. He's been under duress quite a bit. And our pass rush has not exactly been strong throughout the year. Again, feeling the heat. That was Jordan as the pass went to Alec Pierce. A long one to go now. Running for it. Moss, he's not going to get it. Tyron Matthew coming down for the stop. Another three and out. Leaving two and change to go for the Saints now. As they enter the two-minute mode, it is caught by Thomas. He gets a first down. Good first half for Derek Carr. Now it's going to be all on the passing game. Kamara holds on. Not an easy play. Shaq Leonard almost knocked it out. Third and one. They'll run it and just get enough as they burn timeout number two. 44 yards away now. Carr to the outside. Laid in perfectly for A.T. Perry. And they're continuing to do mostly a good job up front protecting him. From the 29. Now it's out to Kamara. And he brings him inside the 20. Go and hurry up. Still plenty of time with a minute four to go. Toss out to Kamara. Not going far. Leonard chases him down. They've still got that timeout in their back pocket. On second and ten. Caught inside the five. Chris Olave. He's tackled at the one. And the Saints use that last timeout. 
There's enough time here. You're not necessarily forced to throw. And nothing but space for Kamara. He scores again. Touchdown, New Orleans. They've rattled off 24 unanswered after going down on the first series of the game. And this is the strong performance we expect to see in a matchup like this. No turnovers, only one sack taken in the first half. And we're doing a nice job defensively as well. Checking out this Rams-Cowboys game. The Cowboys in good form right now. 4-2, 24-7 as they lead the Rams. Let's get our second half underway. We're about to get the football after 24 unanswered. Shahid angles outside. Oh, I thought he had a chance there. But the offense will come out. Chris Olave's already got his 100 plus at a touchdown. He's lined up in the slot this time on first down as Kamara runs left. Gets a good block again from James Hurst, who's battled through some injuries this year. Saints have moved the football pretty well. Now they face a third and eight. Carr across the middle. It's Thomas flashing some speed as he crosses the field and brings it to the 43 of Indy. Another nice conversion for the offense. They'll run it to the right. Kamara brought down after five. 15 carries, 38 yards. I expected to... Uh, Struggle with the running game here a bit. Kendra Miller gets into the mix now with a short gain. Third and one. They trust the run, and I don't think he got it. Brought down by Harmon. A yard shy. But they're going for it. Kamara's back in the game. The box is stacked. And they give it to Taysom Hill. He meets DeForest Buckner and does not get it. The Colts with a defensive answer, hoping that momentum transfers to the offense. Richardson blitzed and sacked by Zach Bond. They're coming after him. They have not given the rookie much time to throw today. Now Moss has one of his better running lanes and gets the third down to be a much more manageable five. But they have not picked up a first down, it seems, in quite some time. And that's not about to change. It's knocked away by Alante Taylor. And the Saints get it back. From their own 16, Kamara tries the outside and falls ahead to the 20. Already 16 carries about what we look to get him per game. Not much more than that. Carr scrambling now. It's his turn to run with uh, good coverage. Gets the first down Inside and past Buckner. That's your first goal here running up the middle. Five yards. A four-man rush on second down. Carr delivers to the rookie A.T. Perry. They have a new running back in there now. And getting the handoff, he is cut behind the line. That is Kirk Merritt. And he is shaken up after his first carry of the season. And we'll head into the locker room. Saints facing a third down and 16. Four coming. Carr steps up away from Buckner. Extends the play. Fires on target. And it's caught by Perry. What a play from Derek Carr. You got to avoid that rush of Buckner. And that opens up everything as he scrambles and waits for the opening. Finding the rookie A.T. Perry. That's a nice play. I'm going to watch that one a few more times. 3.34 to go on the third. Buckner's back. He's pretty much winning his rep every single play. After a loss of two, he's double teamed. Splits that and forces the errant throw of Carr. It's amazing how impactful elite interior players can be. Third and 12. Better protection for a moment anyway. Eventually, Carr got drilled by Quiddy Pay. And the Colts are about to get the ball back. Headley boots it away once again. Inside the 10. It's an awful lot of touchbacks here for the rookie punter. Pistol formation. Colts running cold offensively. Moss gets past Jordan. Cuts it up and gets three. He's been held to 3.9 yards per carry. 
Richardson pressured from Brissy and decides to throw it for a first. Finding Mo Ali Cox. I just feel like they haven't done anything that resembles their opening drive. They had a good bubble screen. They had Richardson running on that drive. And we really have seen a more vanilla game plan following that. Third down. Richardson picked off by Demario Davis. He threw it right to the veteran linebacker. And for the Saints, it's their second interception of the season. That was just a gift. As soon as he felt that pressure, he wanted the ball out. This Saints defense has dominated all the rookie quarterbacks they faced, and the schedule has given them those matchups early in the year. That's a love a open downfield. Another deep crosser, big gain inside of Colt territory. Off the fake to Camara. Dished out to Johnson. Gets the first down. Derek Carr having another very strong game. Out of the eye. Dodging Buckner. This is Miller for the touchdown. Kendra Miller. And the Saints continue their run. Nice move there. Buckner's going to be in the way. You've got to get around him. He does it. 31-7, 31 unanswered for the Saints. Here's Richardson incomplete. That was catchable. Facing third and two. They want the screen. It is there for the first down, Zach Moss. Anthony Richardson, 98 yards passing. No touchdowns, one interception. Off the mark now for Mo Ali Cox, who had created some separation. Third down, need the 45. There's pressure to deal with again as Richardson overthrows Pittman and almost got picked off. They're going to go for it. Defending the blitz. Nice throw and catch. Mo Ali Cox in the middle of the field. And they're back into St. Territory for the first time in a while. On first down, it's underneath. Moss lost the ball, and the Saints will take it away. They haven't turned the ball over much this year, but they've created two now. Nine minutes to go in the game. Miller is the back. He's got room to run and gets the first down. Good opportunity here for Kendra Miller to show why we look to make him the new RB2. Well, there's DeForest Buckner. This guy makes so many plays. Third and six. That's out quick. Caught by Perry. Fourth down. And as they've done already three times, they will go for it again. The rookie Miller running left gets a first down and a whole lot more with tough running. Early in the year, he impressed me more than Jamal Williams. I felt like now for a while he's been our second best option. As we go tricky now to Shahid, and he gets a few. But trading away Jamal Williams was as much to do with his slow start as it was to do with Miller shining with his limited touches. And I think today we're seeing that this is probably the right option for us. Third down, car rolling off the fake. We'll keep it and go out of bounds. A field goal makes it 34-7 as the final moments of this game tick off the clock. Richardson airing it out is intercepted. Paulson Adebo. And the Saints can seal their fifth win of the year. A dominant showing against the Indianapolis Colts. They win 34-7. Adebo with his first takeaway of the year. Strong win in a game where we expected to bounce back. We had some matchups I liked today. The Colts' initial drive had me thinking we might be in for a fight today, and I was wondering, you know, what we'd see from Anthony Richardson, but I don't think they put him in the best position to succeed today. I will say, too, that, you know, Madden has changed some things over the years and I think now there is a lot more difference between rookie and veteran quarterbacks and those lower ratings be it awareness accuracy they, they show up a lot more 
And the game plans here against these rookie quarterbacks have been really simple. You dare them to beat you downfield, and it hasn't happened yet. I think our quarterback schedule has been pretty easy so far. Trevor Lawrence had a big game against us. Ryan Tannehill did well. But we faced three rookie quarterbacks, all very early in their seasons. They'll all be a lot better the next time we end up facing them. We knocked out every goal in this game. It was a fun one. They... Gave us a good wake-up call, though, on that first drive, and we responded by throwing it to Alave like five times. And then the defense just settled in, took over, and didn't make anything easy on their offense. We stopped the run pretty good again, too. So nice win against the Colts, 34-7. And we're starting to get a few more stories pop up, too, here in the news and those are important to uh, keep an eye on as we think about the draft although I haven't really spent a whole lot of time going into the prospects quite yet as we look around the NFL for some other scores here's a shock 42 nothing the Raiders go on the road to beat the Lions what's going on here with this game who saw this one coming probably the most confusing score of the week but the Lions, I think, are still a pretty strong team here in the NFC. Then we've got the Chargers, who lose this week against the Bears, who are our next week's opponent. And they did feature Jamal Williams in this first game, giving him 14 carries. He gave them a touchdown, 65 yards. But the Chargers could not find a way to get the job done. We then look ahead at the Miami Dolphins and New England Patriots. 45-14, the Dolphins' offense is scary. Thankfully, they are nowhere near our schedule. Three touchdowns on the day for Tua Tungavailoa. Devon Chain gets one on the ground. It was Cedric Wilson who had a big day for him. Derek Carr leads the NFL in passing yards. I was shocked to find that out. He also leads in pass attempts. We haven't had our bye week yet, so I imagine... Some teams will have a chance to, uh, to catch up, but his average per game is still really good. Eight picks, didn't throw one today. That was very good. A couple plays out there. We could have tried to be aggressive, but there wasn't much need to. On the ground, Alvin Kamara is towards the top in average rushing yards per game, but he missed the first three, so he's not going to be there in total. And Chris Olave is now averaging over 20 yards a reception and could be a 1,000-yard receiver as early as our next game. We know exactly how to use him. I've done a much better job of figuring out different ways to get our number one playmaker the ball. I like where the offense is right now quite a bit. Next week, take on Chicago and the 5-3 and three Bears. Should be a good one. I'll see you all later this week with that game. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts on today's game down below in the comment section. Thank you for all the support. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.